It's time for season mode in Cops and Robbers. And I wish this gun was a real weapon. This is why it's a custom. There's one enemy left. If I can take him down. This weapon, the Eliminator X 2.0. Oh, the SS Ultra Eliminator X. Hmm, let me spot this enemy. <gasps> the final shot is the best shot. Because we won our season mode. Okay, so as you can see, we, we're doing as the first uh, SS Ultra Eliminator X, which I want Cops and Robbers to make as the most powerful SS gun in the game. Okay, so, as you can see, not much difference right now from before, at the start of the video. But before we start building, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos. We do Connect building videos, Beyblade videos. We also have another channel called Positive Gaming. We do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Cop and Robber, Roblox, Balloon City Battles, Grandpire Rome, Among Us, Stickwell Legacy, Stickwell Legacy 3, Balloon City Battles 2, Balloon City Battles 6, and Pixel Gun 3D. So let's start. As you can see, there is not much difference to before, except some extra of these, a bit of change at here. I actually made the gun bigger, if you can notice. Yeah. I'm going to build the old gun, how it looked before. And I will, I will add the things that have changed as well. Like this. This is the scope. I'm going to put the actual gun away. So this is the scope. I've changed it. Yes, it does look very good. Same on the other side. So these, one of them doesn't matter which. One of them is for zooming in. The other is for zooming in for night vision and zooming out the other way. And it looks even cooler. And I put some plating on the top. Gonna add it on. Oh wait, and this is for aim. I forgot to tell you. Aim. And a, and a little flashlight at the bottom. You always need a flashlight when it's night time. So yeah, place that on. Our first three things. And this, which doesn't really matter. I just added it. Because it looked cool. Um, so yeah. Now we have a better shotgun. And yes, this weapon, Cops and Robbers, is not just a shotgun. It's the ultimate weapon. I can't actually explain the whole gun in this video. Because to be honest, maybe I can. But it's got a lot of talking to do. Huh, we have, a, we have a lots of time, so yeah. Let's just say. So, scope added. And to make this thing stand, I'll add the magazine. The flaming magazine. The bullets are made from molten lava and fire. And blackstone from the nether. Um, yeah, yeah, so. Very, very powerful flaming. Well, I was going to say that I'll make it stand, but it's just made it fall over. Okay, I'll just hold it like that. Okay, next thing. I forgot what this is called, but put it at the front. It's got precision and it's got a very OP thing. The front, the bullets shoot out, they spray into four different set, five different bullets. Four small, one normal molten lava bullet. Well, that, I don't get how that's normal, but yeah. So that's now the new weapon. I forgot where the handle is. It's not here. Maybe it's somewhere around here. It's probably here. I'll just be quick. Try and find the handle if I can. Ah, 
Fun. Okay, so here is the handle. Nothing special about this handle. It's the exact same handle as before. I'm just going to put it on. Very depressing. Nothing about it. Nothing about the handle. The handle, the most important part of a gun. The way to hold it. Okay. Now to make this handle a bit stronger, and for a good little backup, we're going to have the communication chamber. You press the top like that, pretend of course, um, then you can communicate with your own team. Kind of like voice messaging, I guess. Um, and it will make the handle stay stronger. It doesn't really matter in games, because they can make it as stronger as possible. But as Lego, sometimes things could look amazing. But, like in the Three Little Pigs, I'll huff and puff and blow your house away. So, same story with Lego. It doesn't always have to be the greatest looking thing, it always has to be the most strongest thing. That's usually how I started. I, I made such great builds, very weak. But I make strong builds, that was very cool. But some things, you just can't get them strong anyways. So, we have the the energy shield of something that I'll sh tell you later when I put it on which I'll put next after that and I'll put the gun aside for a second so this is the energy shield which will be which the other side will be connected to the special power up so pretend you push this and then the gun will shoot a green laser, like the Salvation in Cops and Robbers. Because uh, I just want to add this in Cops and Robbers. And I forgot to add the Uzis, but this I will not forget. And if you put this, this is Lifesteal. The more you use this, the better, because then I'll charge that. If this gets broken... Like, if you use both of them too much, this thing will go nuke down boom. So, yeah. Very exciting. So, those two will go on. Then, we have the dark magic. Ten kills equals one undead soldier to fight with you. Either a skeleton reaper, a skeleton with a bone, skeleton full armor, and lots of other things. So this, I just put this as the charger of the ultimate power. Mm, to, to use it. Mm. And the way it's undead, I use the nether, por the nether portal pieces for the Lego Minecraft set. And I just put some bones and a dragon teeth in it to make it look spooky yeah that won't stand like that okay then you you know it so i won't talk too much about this because i, I had this in the other one too i'll put this over here because this actually was there before all I di made different was these platings to make it stronger so this is like a radar you open it up and it's kind of like a light too when it's dark and you can see the enemies or teammates on the radar green for teammates red for enemies and blue for unknown so yeah put that there this i had before it's just that i made a totally more update so this is the beacon and that's the holder of the beacon so the beacon um it's a thing where you only have one chance to use it you mess up boom this beacon the beacon should be in a spaced area like not really a space but like on a temple like something like in star wars and the revenge of the sith it needs to 
to take Obi-Wan Kenobi's place, the high ground. So to make this beacon work, you need to throw it onto high ground, shoots a giant laser beam, and then military soldiers come to help you. So yeah, that's the beacon and a very more cooler and holder instead of a pod. And the cool thing is when it's attached, even if you open it, uh, it's not supposed to be like that. Even if you open it, it's kind of like a spring. You still have to like pull it down. So we're going to put that there. That's new. This is just something. This is the, um, these two are like the key things. If these two are not here, um, these are not usable. Like they won't, they won't have infinite power. So this is the charger of this and this. And the beacon needs to be powered up because that is going to have a huge beaming light. And this is, of course, for the, like, the fire, the lasers and every other thing. I'm going to keep all that power. We're going to have these like fumes. I don't know what they're called, but they're like three holes in the gun like that. They're going to be like that actually like that from the top there and uh, pretend when the gun is going overload like insane kill power 101 mode um fire is gonna fume out from the holes which is very cool oh wait one more thing the main power this is so if you um I'm not sure everyone might know this if you play Cops and Robbers, but this is something from the new SS gun in the game, the Devil's Partner. In my opinion, the nearly coolest gun in the game. I've nearly gotten it. Probably halfway there. Nearly halfway there. And the Combo Master, I've nearly got that too. Um, but most importantly, the Devil's Partner has this circle that's built in the gun and it spins fast like fast 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 and this is also like that too so this is how the weapon goes ultra kill 101 overload mode so that means you'll basically be on the rampage with this it's like the ultimate power yeah so basically with this gun you'll be invincible not actually though. Guarantee. Yeah. And then we're going to place everything in. First things first. The charger. Mm. Going to turn this thing around. We get the main thing. And also, guys, if this thing hits, I don't know, about 100 likes... Um, in the next week, I'll build it. And this time, I'm going to say this for real. Next week, 100 likes, I will build it. Not like with the add-ons. If you want to, me to build the add-ons too, like I mean like in the start of the video where it looked like a complete shotgun, that's how I'm going to build it. <clears throat> 500 likes with add-ons. Just joking. 200 in one week. Then... The radar, then the radar, and some pieces in Lego are very useful, but very, very fragile, like these clips. Oh, yeah, my foot hurts. Did I put that in the? No, I, I thought I put it in the wrong place. Then we're gonna put the dark magic. Lots of fingerprints everywhere. The only thing that I don't know how to make strong is the magazine. It's always just falling off. 
I mean, it kind of has to fall off because it would be used in the beacon. I'm going to put it here because thank you very much. I'm going to turn it around. There we go. And I was saying, um, when you open this up, it's kind of like a spring. See, opened up push it out but I'm going to do that a bit later there you go <clears throat> I should have yeah I'll just put that away I'm going a bit down And here, guys, I'm cops and robbers. Here is the most powerful thing. Now the other side. The other side is more compact and like and more things. My hands are shaking. Now to turn on the lights. It's turning on the TV. Mm. Guys, now it's time for Final step, weapon overload, radars up, and ready for battle. And I'll give you a bird's eye view of how, how would it look if you were holding it. From the first angle, second angle. And straight. It's very, it's, it's very intimidating just having this thing pointing at my head. Now, it's time to see how intimidating it is if I pointed this gun at you guys. Very intimidating. Intimidating. Anyways, so. Just this one thing that always has a problem. My great builds, they used to have lots of problems. Now, because they uh, they weren't that annoying, but now uh, they're very great. They always have one problem that's very annoying. But yeah, I, I'm getting used to it now. I just realized how heavy this gun is. I'll have to wait it. Definitely um, weighs more than a chair, a plastic chair. Yeah, it's heavy. Probably a kilogram or a half. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my other videos. And cops and robbers, please make this weapon. So I very intimidating. So <clears throat> Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys.